Thanks for checking out this video. Don't forget, like and subscribe. Okay. Let's He's just start. No, 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 no. There's something totally different. Oh, really? Okay. What happened with Carlito yesterday? Oh, boy. Right before the show started, I had somebody mad at me that I wasn't outraged about it on the Observer Radio Show last night. Mm. And I was like, what even happened? Something about Chinese? You fast forwarded through it. No, I watched the Carlito segment, but I'm trying to take notes on everything everybody's saying. And I guess I what did what did Carlito say? I don't he's know gotta, what happened. He's got to learn Chinese in what? reference to damage control. That's apparently the that's the outrage. Well, hold on a second. Hold on. Yes. Well, first off, that's obviously they don't anyway. But what, what was Carlito talking about damage control for anyway? Maybe I missed the entire segment. Was this a segment with all of like they were all backstage and. Liv and Raquel come in, and they're mad. Is this a segment we're talking about, or was there another segment? That I believe it was another segment. When they were all just talking back there, that's when he said he was the fixer and then ran off to go find Adam Pierce. Okay, and then and then when did he make this comment? I, what, what do you want me to... Well, I want what, somebody to tell me what happened. Like, Well, I, look at your notes. See when No, the point is I didn't take notes on it. I clearly missed it. So, like, when did it happen? Did it happen... In a segment with, was he in the segment with damage control? Okay. Can somebody help me out here? Send me a text. Got it if you need it. Okay. What <laughs> happened, Dom? Jeez. Does anybody know what's going on? What happened? Okay. I looked it up on Twitter. Uh, EO and Kyrie were talking to Adam Pierce. Uh, they storm off. Carlito walks over and admires them as they walk out. And eventually he says, I got to learn Chinese. Okay. Oh, that didn't make it in your notes? No. That didn't stand out to you? I didn't even hear the line. I don't Was this a segment where they wanted a tag title shot or Dude, I don't even know where it is. Okay? It's a stupid line. If I would have heard it, I'd been outraged. But I didn't see it. Now that you've heard it, are you outraged? I'm not I mean it's stupid. <laughs> what a stupid line. It is a stupid line. Yes. Especially because there was that Notable situation for those that remember it. Big EO Sky fans certainly remember it, where some guy yelled out uh, something about being Chinese, and she yelled back, I'm Japanese, and, and then finished that, although I can't finish it on the show anymore without being fined. Well, that was a stupid line. It was. Looks like that's the top story today. Well, and the thing is, I don't... You should have known how people were going to take it. I'm sure somebody didn't think about it and just said carlito say something stupid and that's what they decided to come up with but uh yeah it was just stupid period well he said something stupid where was this on the show this must have been when he went to talk to pierce oh yes remember that damage control were yelling at pierce <laughs> he vowed to solve this problem carlito walked up and said he heard pierce was looking for a new contender for Gunther. Okay, so I missed his line. Well, we probably shouldn't have mildly racist lines on uh, WWE television. Or any television, quite frankly. Were you working out Even if it's time? a stupid heel doing the line. Doing Although I'm not even curls? sure if Carlito's supposed to be a heel. Well, what? He's supposed to be a heel. He's just a dumb one. Well, he's an idiot. His character's an idiot. I mean, that's uh, that's clear. Yeah. All right, well, we'll do the Raw report later on. But we got to talk about Samantha Irvin. Find out what else you missed. I know about Samantha Irvin. She was replaced by Lillian. You know what I didn't miss? Lillian announcing that it was a number one containers match. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, it's been a long time since she's been uh, since she's been there. So. Renegade here says it was more an ignorant line than anything. No, it wasn't an ignorant line. Well, no, because it was. it was done on purpose. His no. character was ignorant, There's but they purposely of... had him say this. It's not like they didn't know. It was done on purpose. So his character was ignorant, but did we need that on the show? No, we did not. I think you could say it's an ignorant line. Well, his character was ignorant, but my point but is like... somebody was being ignorant by slipping it in there, either purposely or they were well, being ignorant. Well, obviously it was purposely. In the most innocent sense, which is say the stupid thing because they just weren't thinking in the moment, also ignorant. So Samantha Irvin's music career has influenced her decision 
Talked about it on Observer Radio yesterday. She's actually been thinking about it for a year, Dave said. So everybody who thought that it was like a decision made yesterday or after Ricochet went to AEW, it's actually something she's been thinking about for a, week, a year. She has outside projects she wants to do. Couldn't come to terms without work with WWE, and off she goes. Dave said she wants to be a singer. She is a singer and plays the flute. Wants to be more involved with her music. And so uh, she's gone. So essentially the situation is she wants to do her own thing. And she doesn't want it to be like a WWE thing. She doesn't want to, you know, however it would work in terms of sharing profits with WWE. She wants to do her own thing. And so she left. So good for her. And Ricochet on X tweeted, she is not coming to AEW. You can all rest easy. Apparently a lot of people you. apparently a lot of people were very upset on Twitter that she might go to AEW. How dare she? Oh, stop. No, I'm not kidding. That happened no, I'm yesterday. Not surprised. I'm not surprised because people are dumb. So she's uh, not going to AEW, at least at this moment. Now, of course, she could go to AEW. Tony could call her tomorrow and give her a gigantic, you know, here's a million dollars. Work when you want. She could go, but, but at this point, that's not like the plan. Producer on the album. That's you know? not why she uh, she left. Well, you know, look, it makes sense. It makes sense for both sides. If she's going to be in the studio and needs time to write and record, and then go out and promote that album, obviously, you know, WWE would want a part of that since you know she would be doing it partially on their time and all that sort of stuff, but now seems to be the perfect time to go ahead and cut the cord. Ricochet's got, I'm sure, a fat new contract with AEW. Uh, you know, I don't, I'd assume they've saved their money over the years, and frankly, for her, if not now, when are you going to do it? You know, she's pretty much at her peak when it comes to wrestling fans knowing how talented she is, maybe not necessarily as a singer, but certainly they know she's got a big voice and she's attracted a lot of attention that way, so... Good for her. Now seems to be the perfect time. All right. So now has been confirmed by multiple people. Fightful's reporting it. We had somebody text us a moment ago that uh, it was an ad lib by Carlito. What an idiot. So I guess we'll find out if anything comes of that. So uh, that's the update. Dummy. I mean, what are you just Dummy. We had this segment we've been talking about all day with Damage Control and Carlito and everybody. And uh, and Carlito ends up talking Pierce into giving Dom a shot against a former world champion next week. And uh, Bringing back Bob Backman. Awesome. Yeah. That would actually be awesome. I'd pay to see that. Who do you think it's going to be? Damian Priest? I hate to even say this because people are going to yell at me and say that I'm defending the company or whatever. Uh But I was told by the same person that said that the Carlito line was an ad lib that uh, you and Kyrie did not have a problem with it. They saw it as him playing an idiot. And uh, and that was that. Well, he he It doesn't necessarily mean that Carlito will not be punished for this, but... That's the story. He accomplished his goal. Hey, you know what? Remember when Brock Lesnar was going to face off against Dominic Mysterio? He's a former WWE champion. There you go. Bring that one back. Thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and click that notify button, and you'll never miss a video again.